Now let's do this another way without using a string or a template. Let's actually create a DOM node and append it ourselves. So this is what's happening magically when we use inner HTML. It's going to parse it and build out the DOM. The DOM being the representation of the structure of your page at any given time. But we knew that. It's pretty slow to parse HTML, so it's a lot faster if we can just create the nodes ourselves using JavaScript and manually append them. So we're going to learn how to do that. I'm just going to comment out this line. I'll keep it here for reference. Um, I'm super lazy, so I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, which is command forward slash or control forward slash in Windows and Linux. It comments out that line. Not a huge deal when you're just doing one line, but when you're doing, say, three, that's a big help. All right, every once in a while, this thing loses its mind about resizing these splits. All right, so I promised we would create an element using pure JavaScript. Document dot create element. And you simply pass it the name of the element, like em, for emphasis, which we saw italicizes things. So let's just save that to a variable, const m equals document.createElement m. And then we could add the name to the text content. And then if we want to stick that m into details, we can put details.appendChild and pass in em. Em actually contains a real DOM element. Let's see if it's all true. Jules. Jules. All right. Not so bad. Document create element. Just pass it. Yeah, the element name, set the text content, append it to what we want to be its parent. And life is good. So let's go ahead and commit. Append the name as a proper DOM element.